Oh, I thought that that slow fade gets me every time. <laughs> Fucking slow fade. Uh, I said uh -huh. new Oh. My dad sent me 500 bucks. Huh. So we are now at 2,500 bucks. Nice. Um, I planted another another seed in your area last night because it was... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw just, you walking around out here. Yeah, I found the random fucking mixed seeds. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty cat. I'm going to give you some water. Aw, I love the kitty. Parsnip, parsnip, parsnip. Please be gold. No gold. Ugh. I'm going to go buy a bunch of parsnips from, from Pierre. 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 <sighs> His name doesn't feel right in your mouth no matter how you say it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I don't like Pierre. No, he's We have, he's we've a... established that we hate Pierre. No, we've he's we've a talked about piece that of shit. every every season. We talk about how much we don't like Pierre. Oh, isn't the egg hut today? Oh yeah. Shit. I think it's the the fucking egg festival today. Yeah, it is. Let's I'm going to go put back all my shit cuz I don't need it. Yeah. Can't can't do anything today, so fuck it. Damn it. Yeah, all the merchants are gonna be closed. Yeah, I'm just gonna go chill at the egg festival, I guess. Alright. Wait for you to get to the egg festival, I should say. <sighs> yeah, I just gotta water my crops, so I'll just be a minute. It's fine. Oh, it's still being set up, so never mind. Oh, yeah, it doesn't start till 9 am, I don't think. See if I can scour for any foraging while I wait. I got a dandelion. And <laughs> dandelion. And dandelion. And a lion. Oh, this is the first time we've gotten to like really sit down and record ahead for a while. Yeah, this it's is nice. nice. Yeah. I really miss doing this. I did too. Like we're sitting down and just recording like a week's worth of of Stardew today, and it feels really good. We should definitely sit down and record some other stuff too. Yes, I agree. It also feels nice to focus. Yeah. Yo, Ritalin's great. <laughs> I'm really glad that you have that now. Like, I can sit and focus on, like, the reason I only ever wanted to record, like, one or two at a time was because I'd get antsy and yeah. feel like I need to do something else. And, like, I'm just chilling now. I'm like, yeah, I could record for a few hours. <sighs> I can't wait to get medicated. I, you, yeah, you gotta, we gotta find you an endo and we gotta find you a therapist. Yep. Egg festival, yay. You little bitch, Pierre. Oh, uh, Wait, oh, introducing no. myself here doesn't count, does it? Um, it might. Also, gay. Gay? Gay. Honestly, I could... Jody and Emily, good ship. Jody and Emily would be a good ship. Yeah, it doesn't count. I really don't like Kent. Kent is a real piece of shit. Yeah, no, fuck Kent. He hasn't... <sighs> I'm a war vet. I'm an asshole to I'm, my wife because I have PTSD, even though I... Fuck off. It's like, oh... I just... Oh, God. The the PTSD representation, it's like, oh, great. Another veteran. Another, another violent war veteran is PTSD representation. Cool. Yeah, my... Someone, someone close to me brought this up and was like, yeah, no, I'm sick of the violent war veteran being the only representation of PTSD. There's so much other fucking situ There's so many other situations in which PTSD can occur that are just totally ignored and glossed over and people minimize what PTSD actually is because they're like, oh, you weren't in the war. Like, yeah. fuck off. Yeah, like, I for sure have some fucking PTSD associated with getting hit by a car and a bunch of shit associated with growing up and everything that I started to slowly unpack with my with my doctor earlier this week that was uh, a bit draining. But, like... Uh, and also, like, not every war vet with PTSD is violent asshole. Yeah, like, and, like... The thing, I've talked about this before, I will talk about this again. The cutscene 
that really that that shows who Kent is and what his attitudes are is Jody is making popcorn. She is making popcorn and Kent panics and says, you should have known that those sounds would remind me of the war. I cannot even begin to address how many things are wrong with that. Yeah, it's... Could it have triggered a flashback in real life? Yes, absolutely. You should have known that would remind me of the war is fucking abusive. Yeah. You need to talk to your partner. If you have triggers, you need to talk to your partner. Yeah. And you need to make sure that they understand. Like, because of some shit that happened when I was a kid, I don't like people touching my throat. Sam does not touch my throat at all. Because I have problems with that. And, like, the reason I don't is because that was communicated to me. I would not have known otherwise. And painting people with PTSD and panic disorders as people who expect you to know their triggers without communication is really unhealthy and damaging. Yeah, it's super fucked up. You want to do the Egg Festival? Yeah, let's try to Yeah. at least win. If not, let's make sure Abigail wins. Abigail always wins if we don't. Yeah. Which is totally fine because I love Abigail and she deserves the world. You just want what's best for Abigail and really? really? Who, who wouldn't? wouldn't? <laughs> hey, Lewis, you fucking asshole. God. Yeah, every man in this fucking... You have to, you have to progress. To every man start. except Elliot is infected with toxic masculinity. And I think... Is Gus? Is Gus really a problem? Gus is a problem because he enables... Uh, Pam, yes. He enables yeah, he Pam. Enable Pam. He enables Pam, but honestly, that's the worst thing that he does. He, Which is pretty bad. Like, providing alcohol... Providing alcohol to, to an, an alcoholic, alcoholic is, is pretty bad. As an alcoholic, yes. <laughs> There's a reason I don't drink. <laughs> yes. Um... And there's no former alcoholic. Like, I get some people will identify with that after, after, but not for me. Like, I don't touch alcohol because if I do, it is a problem. So, no matter how long I go without it, it will always be a problem. I did not get that many this time. I didn't no, either. I got, I got six. I'm fucked. Yeah. No way I won. I, I could see three more that I was heading towards. Eight actually might have won you the day. Uh, last time I did it, she got 11. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I beat her with 13. I can't even remember how many it takes. Oh. Hey, you did eight it! Won. Okay. Got a straw hat? Nice. Yeah, I'm Luffy D. Monkey. It took me a second to remember what his name was. I was like, Luffy, and then I was like, wait, it's a, a thing? <laughs> Yay, so we made it back. Wait, can I not put on the fucking straw hat? What? You have to go into, in, all the way to the left. You have to go to your inventory Oh, the, that, not the crafting screen, yes. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. There you go. There, I look like Luffy D. Monkey without the red stripe. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Sorry this episode was kind of a little bit short and a little kind of heavy, but... Festival days are always short and heavy. Let's yeah. be real with it. Yeah. Have a nice night, everybody. Sleep tight.